Yo, what's happening? Yeah, I'm back on here today, man. Chilling. Like a villain. Get into it, right? I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna cut through the chase. Oh man, I don't know these niggas. All I be watching is these interviews, and I be seeing niggas be really talking, really, 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 really greasy, right? So, show me a rapper, or some dude. I don't know. I don't know who he is. Right? Goes by the name of Ant Glizzy. He's supposed to be from D.C. And let me tell y'all something. Now, we all know the history and the story of D.C. Because we know the Alpo story, right? So, Ant was on a Say Cheese interview. And uh, he was talking about Bandman Kevo. Now, I agree with him, right? I agree with most of everything he said. I don't think no man should be going to get no BBL. I agree with that part. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't. It's just certain things men don't do. You right. Go to the gym, work for your muscles. You don't want them, oh well. one miles. Some some women like fat niggas anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even some skinny women like fat niggas. It just depends on the one you go out and find, you know? But anywho, right? So he goes on, he, you know, he, he rags, rags. And then he say, well, you know, it's kind of like, what's the J-Main name nigga in Chicago? Right. FYBJ Main, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to 63rd Street. You know what I'm saying? Got much love for y'all. You feel me? East and West. You know, I used to be on, I used to kick with my niggas on Walcott. You know what I'm saying? Wild back, 64th. You know what I'm saying? Wild back. Me and my nigga Fresh we used to go over there. We used to kick it. With his cousin and with his people now, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to P Way. I don't know if he's still over there. I ain't been over there in a minute, but shout out to P Way, man. That was that was a real nigga, man. He was cool as hell, man. He was a cool nigga. But anyway, uh, and my man Chop, you know what I'm saying? My man Chop over there. Miles. Not Nine young miles. Chop. You know what I'm saying? This is an older nigga. But anyway, uh, so he goes to say, you know, well, it's just like the J-Main nigga, you know, say what he's seen. And so he must not have been in it if he always talking about he's seen some shit, right? Look, nigga, let me tell y'all DC nigga something. Just because you all still got that Wayne Perry fucking killing mentality, that don't mean we do. We don't think we tough, you know. We could say some shit right. without incriminating us. Why do we got to say, yeah, we was there. We pulled the trigger. We did. Why we just can't play third, fourth, fifth party and say, well, yeah, I seen some shit. Now, granted, there are niggas out here that ain't done nothing. And all they did was observe. I get it. Yes, I know. I get that. But you can't speak for all of us. Just like we can't speak for all of you. That's just like me saying... Uh, you niggas is stupid. Y'all let anybody come to y'all city because of what Alpo history was with Wayne Perry. That's like me saying y'all let a nigga come in, take over, and y'all kill for the nigga and he tell on y'all. I can say y'all ain't super smart. Ain't no nigga super smart or super tough. There's no such thing. Yes, they make Chicago seem that way because Chicago niggas, we've been fighting and scrapping all our lives. All our lives, we gotta fight white folks. Not saying y'all don't, but you niggas live by the capital. And if you niggas will point them guns in the right direction, like they should be, y'all can get some shit done. We don't live by no fucking capital. Yes, y'all was, but I ain't gonna say y'all generation, but the generation before y'all, Wayne ain't pairing them generation, they was laying niggas down. Some of y'all are still are too. 
Not saying y'all ain't, but not like them guys was because they didn't crack down on a lot of shit. So y'all lying to me if y'all got Wayne Perry status out there. If you niggas, you niggas lying to me. I bet Wayne Perry still hold that title out there. And I'm not bragging on a nigga, and I'm not bragging on murder. You know what I'm saying? Not bragging on those things. But I bet Wayne Perry still hold the title. And what's the other nigga name? Teflon. Shout out to him. I bet them niggas still hold the title. You niggas is playing. Just like niggas here. There's some niggas here that holds the title while everybody else is playing. But let me tell y'all something, y'all. Let me just explain this to y'all. Mr. Ant, Mr. DC, you know, I, you know, I ain't telling no, I, I ain't telling nobody from on Chicago, but I give you some niggas down in DC doing their thing, you know? Let me tell you something, Mr. DC. Give a fuck what you think or what you say. You know what I'm saying? You got to back off saying certain things about these niggas, man. Especially here, right? Yeah, I know niggas be saying, man, watch out this and that. Niggas is trying to make they set. That's why I don't ride that fucking way because I know niggas here ain't all that tough either. But I know niggas, they ain't either. I know niggas in California ain't all that tough either. I know niggas in New York ain't all that tough either. Well, have you been to them places? Nah, I ain't been to Cali and I ain't been to New York. But it's just the same shit across the board with black folks. It's always been that way. Always have for black folks. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing new. Always been that way. Niggas are the same mostly everywhere you go. You got your get down, get down clowns, and then you got your niggas that just get down. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas that will pull that thing, and you got niggas that just pull the thing if they have to. There's a difference. Everybody, don't fall into the hype of Chicago being portrayed as this big ass tough city. Yes, we are tough. Yes, we have to be, nigga, because we are put in situations where we have to be. Not saying y'all not either, but we fucking segregated. Now, I don't know how segregated you guys are from each other, but we're fucking segregated. It's just us. We wake up and see us. We eat with us. We go to school with us. We don't see nothing else. At least y'all got a fucking capital. And I think I heard y'all got a fucking uh, a history museum, a real large, nice history museum. My people went out there for vacation. You get what I'm saying? So y'all do got something. We ain't got shit, man. Every day we open our door, we see the same shit. Y'all at least get to go somewhere and see something different. We got to go all the way outside our neighborhoods, man. We got to travel to the white folks' neighborhood just to see some shit. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't just uh, shit. A lot of us don't have cars. A lot of us is fucked up. A lot of Every us is fucked up. Is like a wind That's my man right there. Down. Tell the boys, I says, hey. Hold up. Let me don't finish talking. So yeah, it's portrayed in a certain way because yeah, we have to be, we had to be, you know. I don't know DC's story. I don't know, you know, I, I hear why Wayne Perry became why, you know, what he became and why, you know what I'm saying? But for everybody else, you know, I don't know. Just off just off those stories alone. You know, it seemed like you guys were just killing, man. 
you know, here, I, I don't know, I don't know how DC, you know, police system work and was y'all being discriminated against and I, I, I don't know, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what made y'all, well, you know, according to the stories of Wayne Perry, yeah, you know, he was a soldier fighting against, you know, all the injustices and, you know, not only was he a killer, but yeah, he was doing other things too, you know what I'm saying? But you know, not hurting, you know, I mean, I'm not saying not hurting black people, but uh, police hurting black people, I think was not tolerated with him. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, anywho, Mr. Egg Lizzie, you know, yo, listen, listen, listen. FYBJ Main is only, is, has the right to speak on what he's seen without saying what he did. That's all I'm saying. I can put myself in third, fourth, fifth party when you know how to do that. See, you niggas in DC, y'all won't, y'all so busy trying to be like Uncle Wayne that y'all not even smart enough to think like, oh, well maybe he's not trying to incriminate himself. Just cause the nigga say, well I saw, that don't mean he wasn't in the field. That don't mean he a real, that don't mean he ain't a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean that. I know a sometimes lot of real road, niggas. Sometimes the road eats you. They were in the field right, and they did uh -huh. stuff. A lot of people was real hustlers. They wasn't real uh, killers, but they was hustlers. Like I said, they only bust that thing when they had to. They didn't have to. They weren't gonna bust that thing. But it was all about money in the first place. It was never about no just walking up on and just shooting people in the head. What y'all were doing out there, like Wayne Perry, y'all was doing stuff recklessly. He was just killing folks. So anyway, yeah, like I said, it looked like them niggas and your city was just killing any motherfucking body. Them niggas, Big Head Gary, Wayne Perry, what our post said the other dude name was, Michael Jackson. You niggas was just killing. You niggas was killing over. This is how crazy y'all is, right? Now you want to talk about Chicago ain't being super tough. Let me tell you how fucking mental crazy y'all is. Your mans, right? Now, I'm not saying your generation. I'm not saying that. But there are some of you all, like I said, that think y'all are Uncle Wayne. So, but this is what I haven't heard none of y'all do. That Uncle Wayne has done. Now, Uncle Wayne has killed people and made them, and made the female, made these niggas females come out so he can get their number. And pimp on them. You niggas doing that? Nobody is like their forefathers. Hell, the government is not like, um... Oh, shit. The government is not like, like not like, uh, Christopher Columbus and all them folks. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody's like their damn forefathers. Nobody's like they forefathers. We not like ours, and you not like yours. Yes, you might have some people that might be on a level 10 times, like I said, because y'all trying to be like Uncle Wayne out there. Y'all got a reputation. We got a different type of reputation. You know? Yeah, that gangster talk don't mean nothing to me either. I don't believe half the people in my city that I live. Shit, I'm from here. I don't believe half these folks. But I'm not gonna sit here and say, cause a nigga ain't say he did something, don't mean he ain't do it, or mean he did it, just cause he just said, hey, I saw, or I was around. Nigga, I say that shit all the time, my brother. I don't never put myself in no damn situation. In point one miles. Especially shit that, you know, shit don't have no, certain 
thing on our statute of limitations. So you got to be careful about what you say. You know, so don't, he's right. You know, I'm telling you this, man. Don't judge a book by its cover. Let me just tell you that, bro. Let me just tell you that. Okay, yes. Everybody ain't gangster. Everybody ain't gangster in your city. Everybody ain't gangster in my city. Yes, we know this. But, but, you don't underestimate no motherfucking body. Because we sure ain't going to D.C. I know I ain't knowing y'all fucking reputation. I don't give a fuck how many years Wayne Perry is doing. I know somebody is trying to fill those shoes. Just like here, common sense will tell you somebody's trying to fill these shoes. Okay, like he's like you said, well, if we got niggas like if niggas in Chicago is like YFBJ Main, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Wrong. You better watch niggas like YFBJ Main. One of these niggas that's always not including himself in shit, but really be in the shit. You gotta watch these niggas. Everybody ain't stupid, man. And I'm not saying why why BJ gangster. I don't know the nigga. Shout out to him. Shout out to 630 from here. I don't know the nigga, but I'm not gonna say what he don't know or what he ain't did. I'm not gonna say that. Cause some niggas talking cold and I know I do and I'm good at it. So I would tell you nigga, don't trust me. That's what I would tell you. Do not fucking trust me. You know, Wayne Perry was like that. Wayne Perry, the nigga ain't from your city, nigga. He was like that. What they say about Wayne? Wayne a laughing and Wayne a joke with you. But he a man, he a fucking turn on you so fast. Niggas are like that here too, bro. So don't be fooled by the YFBJ mains, the King Yellows. Shout out to them. No disrespect. Don't be fooled by them niggas. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to that shit that they be saying. Or, or I'm not going to say don't listen to shit that they be saying. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Don't be... Making up your own shit about what they be saying and thinking, hey, well, they not with the shit. You don't know what them boys with. I don't even know what them boys with. I ain't fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't fucking with me. So you don't know what them boys are with. Everybody has their sneakiness. Everybody has the has the evil inside of them, man. Everybody ain't fake. Yeah, he might say he saw this and it might appear he ain't never been in no shit. But that don't mean he wasn't in no shit now. He might be telling you what he wants you to know. Y'all ever think about shit like that? That people tell you what the fuck they think you want to know or should know instead of what you really want to know? Y'all ever think about that shit? No, y'all don't. Y'all think because a nigga say something, oh, we ain't got nothing to worry about because this in Chicago, they got they got these type of niggas out there. And then you come and don't meet them type of niggas. You meet another different set of type of niggas. And then it's like, oh, damn. Yeah. I thought it was like this. Yeah, I know you did, my nigga. I know you thought it was like that. How could you think it was like that? See, that's dumb, stupid, and illiterate on you niggas' part. What the fuck? Oh, come on, man. Turn left. Man, tell me I can't turn left. Man, this is some bullshit. What I'm finna do? This is some bullshit. But anyway, yeah, you you done thinking a nigga ain't with it. Turn right. Just cause of how a nigga sound. Y'all so stupid and slow in this in, in this generation these days. I don't even know what to fucking tell y'all. Y'all just so dumb, stupid, and illiterate. You motherfuckers is really slow. Yeah. Why BJ man keep doing what you doing? Yeah, keep having these niggas thinking everybody like you. You doing a good job at that, man. And that's no shot, that's no disrespect, man. They think, they think everybody, they think everybody is like um, you, so be it. That's just like saying, we think everybody like Wayne Perry. That's not true. You fucking idiots.
if everybody like him, then shit, I ain't no reason. No. Pick up on the right. BJ, man, we have nothing to worry about. If everybody's like this, we have nothing to worry. Nigga, who told you that? That's why I say people are stupid. Who the fuck told you some shit like that? Everybody's like, why have BJ, man? Then we cool, cause it don't sound like he with it. He just always talking about what he's seen, nigga. Well, maybe that's cause he don't want to incriminate himself, nigga. <laughs> I would do the same shit without saying I did some shit. Well, wouldn't y'all think that? I would be glad to hear what a motherfucker seen. Cause shit, I can say, yeah, I saw the same shit too. And I'd be the one that did it. Look how stupid y'all is. Don't ever come in Chicago like that, man. I don't even really give a fuck about this place. Don't ever think. No, nigga. Y'all see the news? We see the news in y'all city, and y'all see the news in our city. So we on equal playing field. There's no, oh, uh, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Yes, y'all do. Everybody's not like these niggas that be talking on this internet. Everybody's not like me, you know what I'm saying? I've done a lot of shit. I'm grown now. I've outgrown all that shit. I don't need to get on here and talk about bodies and how much money I made in the past and what have I done and all this and got people afraid of me. I don't want you afraid of me. If I'm with you afraid of me, nigga, that means I can't move around the way I want because I got to wash my back because you niggas going to try to take me out because you're scared of me. I don't want niggas afraid of me until it's time to be afraid of me. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with y'all? Nah, everybody deserves a fighting chance, man. Everybody deserves to shake hands, sit down, and, 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 and see another day. So you gotta watch these niggas, man. Walking by, looking off. This is what I'm saying. You think it's sweet here. It's not sweet here. Definitely not. Everybody here ain't FYB, FYBJ, man. Everybody's not here. And that's on merch. It's merch. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> I'm talking to Aunt Cleezy, nigga. It's merch, nigga. We we the real deal here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the real deal in y'all city. Crip Magnin the real deal where they from. Charleston White is the real deal where he from. OG Purse is the real deal from where he from. It's a lot of niggas that's a real deal from where they from, man. You know, from where you from, you tough in your city. That's where you tough at. So yeah, these niggas is saying something is because of what they went through, just like y'all. DC niggas come to Chicago, y'all ain't that tough either. 
niggas go to D.C., y'all ain't that tough either, because I, I hear a lot of stories about y'all in the federal joint. You know what I'm saying? So that's why y'all tough at, because why? Y'all run that Pacific, that specific penitentiary, because that's where they send everybody to where you guys are at. To where they hold most of you all at. So most of you all that's from DC and that federal penitentiary is, is in or around it, quite naturally, they send in most of the DC people there quite naturally, then you all are going to what? Take over. So anybody else from the outside is gonna be more of you all than anybody else coming from the outside. So that's common sense. And listen to what you saying, man. Y'all get on here, y'all be talking so goofy. No, I don't want you to, and I'm saying this because I don't want you to think, you know, and I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to know everywhere is not sweet. I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to know everywhere you go, it ain't sweet. But if you let a nigga from the internet fool you and got you thinking that everybody or most of everybody here is like that, are oh, you a damn fool. You Yeah, well, if you come go anywhere, you come here anywhere and motherfucker shoot you in your head, you deserve to be shot. Because you walking around here thinking, oh, well yeah, it's people like YBJ Main. So we definitely don't have anything to worry about. We're definitely all good. Oh, them niggas ain't gonna do nothing. Bruh, these niggas here are starving just as much as the people in your city. And like I said, y'all about the capital. Y'all can make some changes in y'all city. Y'all right there. We got to take a bus and a plane to get to that city to talk and, and have I, I had a dream speech right there, right? We got to take planes and trains and automobiles. Y'all niggas is right around the corner from the capital. Y'all shouldn't have it as hard as we do. If anybody in the United States of America that should have it, I ain't gonna say sweet, sweet, but have it a little more sweeter than the rest of us, should have been DC. Why? Because your, cap, your capital is right there. Whatever issues you have, whatever legislation y'all want to put into play, whatever ideas y'all got, y'all can go right down the fucking street. We can't afford to do that. A lot of us have to drive, a lot of us have to fly, a lot of us have to take a train across the world just to have a march and a speech on Washington. You niggas don't. So, how can you sit here and say, we fight from Chicago to the White House. You niggas right there don't fight nothing. So how are we weak? How are we, how's one man making, making it look bad for everybody else? I just wanna know that. Just tell me, cause everybody ain't FYBJ man. You know, everybody ain't killers either. Just like everybody ain't killers in your city. I'm pretty sure ain't, you ain't no killer, you a rapper. Whatever the fuck you are, you ain't no killer. Yeah, I done seen some shit too. But I'm not here to talk about what I seen. I'm not here to glorify that lifestyle. I can if I wanted to. I could say some shit, blow a motherfucker head away. And they'd be like, damn, nigga, you went through that. You don't even look like the type. The way you come off, you don't even seem like the type. Because the, the type grow up, man. Sometimes the type matures. Sometimes the type don't stay stuck doing the same old things for the rest of their life, man. Look at what it's gotten people. A lot of people come home from the penitentiary glorifying that lifestyle, talking about what they did and they dope fiends. They didn't got busting their ass in jail. Or they was went from Chris to Charlene. Come on. They running around Charlene in the prison. Half of them is like, uh, what's my boy uh, from life played Juana, Juana Man like him in life getting ready to be released but say, hey man, I can't go home to my mama like this. You know how many niggas out in there and out here that are like that? Do y'all know that? So everybody can't be fucking tough in the world. <laughs> you can't be. The toughest of the toughest motherfuckers done got broke down. 
So there's no such thing as Chicago make you know people make it seem like Chicago is real tough or that well you got people like FYBJ Main, we must we shouldn't have nothing to worry about. No, anywhere you go, man, you go into any hood, any neighborhood, any place where you're not from, you're not welcome, you're not supposed to be, you always watch your back. You never say, well, we gonna, we can go ahead and do whatever we want and there's no consequences. Yes, there is, because there's always somebody watching this shit that we're doing and saying, hey, when I catch that nigga, I'm gonna teach him a lesson. I'm gonna pop the shit out of him. I'm gonna do something to him. Everybody ain't got to get on here talking about what they done did and seen, man. As much as I don't like half you niggas, I think I'm with Charles. I think some of you niggas do belong in jail. But I don't think you niggas should be on here telling y'all selves just to get a free ride there. I think y'all should just let the police investigate, catch y'all up, and then take you to jail, to be honest with you. What the fuck are you doing out here and for society? Nothing at all. So get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants you, nobody needs you. You ain't doing it but going to jail and making collect calls, nigga. Same way with you niggas in DC. You ain't doing it but going to jail and making collect calls. That's all you doing. You're not contributing to anything. Just tell me, what is this gangster shit contributing to, man? What are we getting out of this gangster shit, y'all? What are we getting? This is what we doing. Well, big folks them starting, they trying to start a war. Hey, look, I ain't got nothing to do with big folks now. And, and Bandman Kiwi, I have nothing to do with any of them. You know what I'm saying? You know, when Bandman Kevo was a rapper, when he first came out, I was kind of rocking with him. I think he had that song Baller in me, something like that. And I was kind of rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? But he went to jail and, you know, come home and getting BBLs and all kind of stuff. You know, I kind of just, you know, like, all right, nigga, I see what kind of nigga you really are. And it's big folk, you know, hey, I, you know, there's so many big folks from my city, man. Shit, I only honor niggas from my neighborhood. I don't honor niggas that's outside of my neighborhood. Now, niggas in my neighborhood say, hey, yeah, that's such and such and, you know, that's all niggas that can vouch. Niggas from my neighborhood, I don't go into other niggas' hoods. You know, I, I ain't been to the penitentiary. I'm just gonna tell y'all that, right? I, I ain't been to the penitentiary to go meet these niggas. I don't wanna meet these niggas. I don't care nothing about big folks, little folks, GD, BD, Vice Lord. I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's all title, all symbolism. It don't mean nothing here to me. Cause only a handful of niggas that's GDs, only a handful of niggas vice lords, etc. got money and really doing something. Everybody else just claiming this shit. Even the ones that do know they, they lit and you know, getting their hands dirty and feet on the ground. Ain't got shit. All these stores, man, I can show you where I'm at. All these stores where I'm at on the east side. I'm on 93rd right now, right off commercial. Right now, nigga. Ain't nothing but Mexicans own this shit in, in, in this African store I'm at. The vice lords don't own this shit. Hell, it look like the fucking Mexican mafia own this shit over here. Or the Latin kings, or whoever, or the Spanish disciples, whoever the fuck. I don't see no motherfucking vice lords over here owning shit. I don't see no BDs owning nothing. I don't see no GDs owning nothing. These niggas don't own shit over here. All these niggas do walk up and down the street with their bottles and blunts and talk shit. You do that shit in D.C. All you niggas do standing y'all little projects do the same shit. Y'all just don't have no gangs. I'm tired of hearing that shit. What the fuck do y'all own? Because like I said, where I'm at, ain't no niggas store over here. Foreigners. All foreigners. But everybody talking this street GD shit. What are they doing? Everybody talking about Wayne Perry, DC, this and that. What are y'all niggas doing out there? How y'all taking care of y'all selves? Y'all nephews can't even go get a fucking job because y'all ain't got nothing to offer these little niggas. They got to go through the white man system. Goofy.
Uh, I'm back. So yeah, um, FYBJ man, you gotta come on here and clear this shit up with these folk, man. Cause you making the city look bad, bro. On the real, you making us look bad. They think niggas ain't who they say to you cause something you doing, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know. Some of y'all getting on here. Talking that talking, y'all ain't even about who y'all say y'all is. No disrespect to my man Jay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I watch some of his videos. I check my man out. He pretty dope. He pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? He got the music popping. Shout out to him. But bro, you on here doing something to make people believe that if there's niggas out like you out here, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to worry about. And that ain't the truth. So I need you to stop doing whatever you doing. King Yellow, uh, who, uh, FBGs and all of them, talk to your mans. Talk to your mans. Uh, Butter, FBG, but talk to your mans. Lil Reese, talk to your mans. Because niggas like Lil Reese, now take Lil Reese for example. You know what I'm saying? I like Lil Reese. I'm going to say, why you like that nigga? He a op, he this, he that. You know why I like Lil Reese? Lil Reese, smart. He say shit without saying shit. That's why I rock with him. He says things without saying things. He'll play along with you. And I believe some of the shit he be saying, he probably don't know about. He like, man, I got to do research on that, man. I got to look that up. Some of the shit he be knowing about. Cause he did one interview, I think it was with Cam Capone. He kind of smirked. Let me know he knew, he knew some of the shit that's going on. Shout out to Reese. I fuck with Lil Reese. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about that GD and BD shit. I fuck with human beings. I fuck with human beings, y'all. I don't fuck with titles and gangs. I fuck with human beings. But that little nigga said something, man. And I don't mean to disrespect by saying you a little nigga, but you a little nigga. You know? You a little, you a little nigga with... You a little nigga that, you know... That'll, that'll probably do something to a nigga. Let me put to you like that, but you still a little nigga. You know, every dog has his day. Everybody checks out. Maybe it ain't your turn to check out. So you might not get caught up with by the Grim Reaper. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you might not get caught by the Grim Reaper. But I, res I re the, re the reason why I respect Reese because the things that he's saying, how he said, I like Butter because Butter, you know, the way he expresses himself, you know, these guys, in other words, what I'm saying, now, to you all, they might not be believable because y'all into it with each other. But to a nigga like me, sitting back, watching the people in the show, I'm not saying I believe everything, but some of you all are believable. You know what I'm saying? Some of you all, the way y'all speak and how serious and, and y'all... And y'all say this shit with passion. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are believable. So that's why he that's why he brought up YFB J Main. Cause he don't think he's believable. I'm not here to judge that. I can't tell a man he wasn't there when something went down. I can't tell a man not to believe what he think happened. I can't tell no man that. You know, but I'm gonna tell you this, I don't believe everything that he's talking about is just something he just saw. You so you just at the right place at the right time to see every fucking thing. Come on, Ant. Come on, Ant, you gotta be smarter than that. Come on now. Everybody ain't at the right place at the right time to see everything. Most of the people that saw this shit nine times out of ten was the culprits. Nine times out of ten was the niggas that did it. It's impossible. It's impossible for a motherfucker to say and say, well, yeah, I saw this, I saw that, I saw that. I mean, you was, damn, you was outside that much? You was around that much that you saw all this shit. Yeah, right, I don't believe that shit. I believe you was into half that shit. You was doing half that shit. But instead of incriminating yourself, 
was talking to Dirty Fool Party. So please tell me if I'm right, J Main. Please tell me if I'm right or my or am I wrong? Cause you got to get on here and you got to check and you got to clear this shit up. Y'all niggas out here repping that shit, then y'all gotta stand on it, man. Y'all gotta stand on that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of it. You know what I'm saying? But as a whole, I'm 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 talking to my man as a whole, because he said everybody's like you. No, everybody's not like him. And everybody's not like him. You know, you even in your time, I mean not your time, even in Wayne Perry's time. Wayne Perry was checking niggas that thought they were super killers or thought they were just as bad as him and Wayne Perry was checking their ass. They say Wayne Perry told a nigga, get out this car, I'm gonna fuck you in your ass and do something to you. That's what they, what they said now. <laughs> and they were saying Wayne was saying this to a nigga. <laughs> that thought he was just as tough as Wayne. But they said Wayne had to prove him wrong. They said nigga was kind of acting like he was. They said Wayne had to prove him wrong. Like, oh, this nigga ain't no shit. And he did. They said he made the man, robbed the man, made him strip, sent him on his way. Tell him he gonna fuck him in his ass. He'll fuck him in his ass. Now that's, now you, that's gangster. It's gay, but it's gangster. <laughs> but I know what he's, I know what, you know, but I heard Wayne was into guys, but hey, to each his own, right? What they say in uh, what they how they say that shit in the army? Uh, don't don't say nothing. Be quiet. Don't tell. And half a mile. I ain't gonna lie. Wayne Perry pulled some gangster shit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't hear about niggas doing that now. I don't hear stories about niggas Wayne Perry type of niggas now. Just like you don't hear Larry Hoover type of stories. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear. Jeff Ford type of stories now. You don't hear because each generation is different. You don't see the United States doing exactly what the Roman Empire did. Each generation is different. It's in like, each generation gets watered down. It don't get like, I can't say no, better or worse. It, it, I don't know. I don't know the words for this, but I do know, like if you look at things like, <clears throat> like the Roman Empire, for example, brutal. The punishment they had for criminals were brutal. But as time went on, the punishment for murder, robbing, kind of went down, especially over here in the Western world. Eastern world, they still might chop off your hand or whatever. But over here, they got watered down. Nigga, they probably chopped your dick off over there for messing with a kid. You know, back, well, back then it wasn't no laws for messing with a kid or not messing with a kid. It wasn't no laws, so that's why the niggas was doing. That's why them Julius Caesar type niggas was doing that shit, dressing them up in wigs and whatnot. So it wasn't no rule for that. But thieving, you know, you got killed or you got your you got your hand cut off. You feel me? You got killed or you got your hand cut off. Now you get a slap on the wrist. You, now, 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 you watch watch the timeline, right? You used to go to jail for that shit. Then they started saying, okay, anything. First, it was anything over under five hundred dollars. You didn't have to go to jail. Okay, once that was over, then they start saying a thousand. Now we're gonna give you tickets. You see that? Versus two, three thousand years ago. Two, three thousand years later, we give you tickets now. You used to get your hands cut off, now you get tickets. Right. So everybody's not going to be like that predecessor. Everybody's not gonna be like a Larry Hoover, a Wayne Perry, or Alpo, or whoever, all these American gangsters, Frank Lucas, all them. There's no not, not people not gonna be that. Just that's reality, y'all. Yeah, you're gonna have people trying to live up to that name and live up to that rep. Them people are already on it. Them people know. 
there's another Wayne Perry somewhere. Them people know there's another Hoover somewhere. Them people, their job is to prevent that from happening. You think all this defense is just this this arms defense shit over here? You think all that's just spit? To, what the fuck? Man, you think all that is spit on Russia? Don't blow the horn at me, nigga. Just tell me. You think all that... You think all that money is spent on China? Hell no. I think all that money is being spent. Turn left. To keep our black asses in line. To keep from having another insurrection. Race riots. All this shit, right? That's what they spent. The defense is being spent to protect the elites from us and from the people overseas. Y'all better start waking up and seeing this shit, man. Why you think they don't give a fuck about the people on the front lines? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody tough. Just like my shirt say, nobody's fly. I'm gonna get one and say, nobody's tough. Nobody's tough. I don't give a fuck who, what, when, where, why. I don't care what a nigga say, nobody is tough. Everybody pretends. Nobody is really, really that super gangster. Pick up on the right. That's all I'm trying to say to you, J Man. And Glizzy. Tell the boys, I says, hey. But J Man, like I said, you got to clean this shit up, bro. Bro, you got to clean this shit up, bro. You got to stop doing whatever you're doing. If it's some clown shit you're doing, Whatever it is you're doing on this YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Man, you got to start doing some shit. Motherfuckers believe you, bro. Because motherfuckers think it's sweet. You got motherfuckers thinking it's sweet in Chicago. Shoot. And y'all niggas ain't supposed to be sweet. Y'all supposed to be the gang, right? Whatever that shit is y'all be doing. Y'all better figure this out. <laughs> I know that. But Aunt, Aunt Glizzy, motherfucker, you ain't no way in the fuck you gonna sit here and think a nigga named Big Folks gonna start a war between here and DC. If you niggas, this how dumb you niggas is. Then let me tell y'all something. If y'all niggas let somebody come in and start a war between my, our city and your city, we deserve to be in war. It's bad enough. How the fuck? I don't even live near you. So how the fuck I'm going to start a war with you? I don't even... Y'all don't even have gangs. Y'all should not even be getting into it over shit. Of course, that's Bandman man, Kev, Kevo, Kiwi, whatever his name is. Of course, he's going to defend his man on some BBL shit. Of course. If that's what the man want, the man want his tummy tuck. Hey, you got a right to speak on it. The man got a right to defend himself. But y'all ain't got to go to war with no stupid shit like that. I wish y'all would. Boy, that would be the day. Nigga, I will go get Farrakhan up out of this motherfucking sleep. Nigga, get your ass up. I get all the pastors. I get everybody. Like, look, we not finna do this. Because I like to travel. I'm not finna go, where you from? Chicago. He's from Chicago. And then I'm a target. I'm not finna go through that. Because I don't play that shit. I don't trust niggas no way. So y'all really gonna be looking at me as an op if I come to your city, because I'm not gonna speak, I'm not gonna say shit, y'all gonna think I'm on bullshit anyway. Because I'm gonna have that mentality, we into it. I can't enjoy myself, I can't even be with my bitch to enjoy 
a vacation because niggas, dumb niggas from here who ain't got no job, no money, no no nothing, wanna got but time to start shit. I ain't got time for that shit. Go get y'all some motherfucking lives and some careers or something, man. Hell, go to uh, start a BBL coaching class. Shit. Hey, 17 minutes away. Gotta get my day going. FYBJ, man. Get on the internet, clear this shit up, man. Tell them niggas they some hoes. Tell them something, I don't care. I ain't gonna defend no nigga they ain't wouldn't defend themselves, but I'm gonna defend my city, though. And I'm not saying my city is perfect, you know? Nah, we ain't shit neither. I'm not gonna sit and say, well, Chicago's the best Chicago. Nah, we ain't shit either. We ain't about what we, what we have us say we about either. A lot of us be faking it. I'm not, everybody, there's a lot of people that be faking this shit across the board. That's all I can say. It's a whole bunch of niggas that fake this shit across the motherfucking board. Half of us don't mean what we say, and we don't say what we mean. But you niggas in D.C. don't either. Like I said, y'all let a motherfucker, y'all let old, old Alpo and niggas like Alpo come in and... Y'all let, right let niggas like Alpo come right on in and... Befriend y'all, use y'all, and then tell you where the fuck to get off at. Tell on you. Set you up. Because he was smart enough to know how to save his ass. You all too busy trying to be loyal. That's when you know it's time for these niggas. It's time for these niggas to go. That's how you know. Turn right on East 76th Street. Turn left, and then turn right. Stop letting these people diss you, man. That was a diss. But you not finna diss the city, though. You know what I'm saying? Only person that ever dissed the city but did it the right way was Charleston White. And I'm probably saying, well, Charleston White, well, Charleston White is an activist. So, you know, what the, I know people will say, well, that's an excuse. No, 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 no. But no, he's trying to help get niggas together. You niggas keeping this shit going by saying, hey, well, if it's like that, then y'all ain't ain't that gangster. 
and this and that, that and that. Listen, man, Chicago and D.C. never crossed paths that I know of in my life. I ain't never heard no D.C. versus no fucking Chicago. Never heard of that and don't want to hear about it. I ain't even been to D.C. yet. And a lot of you niggas ain't even been here. So what the fuck I want to get into with some niggas because I'm from Chicago. Because another nigga from Chicago get on here, talk his talk, say what he got to say. I don't give a fuck if the nigga right or wrong. I'm here to defend the city now, whether he right or wrong. Charleston White said the truth. You niggas don't tell the truth. You niggas too be talking about your fucking selves. You niggas are selfish. That's all I hear. What y'all got? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you this? You that? You. I don't see no we. I don't see none of y'all taking these little kids to the park. I don't see none of you niggas having picnics for these kids. All you niggas do is talk about y'all. All you niggas do is clout chase. That's all you niggas do. I don't give a fuck about no clout. Nigga, my clout was way back when. I don't give a fuck about that. Now you niggas need TV clout. That's what this is. This TV clout. This ain't no real clout, nigga. This is TV clout. Clout is when you can go somewhere and motherfucker, you ain't got the niggas know who you are just because. That's real clout. This is TV clout you niggas is chasing. You niggas want to be on TV so bad. You niggas, go read a script. All these acting gigs, man. All these films and shows being shot here. Go do something else with y'all life. Y'all want to sit here and play this tough man, tough bullshit. That's bullshit. J. Main, get your shit together. Don't let no nigga get on here and talk to you like that. And you, you trying to hold it down for 63rd Street and yourself, nigga. Don't do that. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody that tough. At the end of the day, everybody ain't killers. At the end of the day, everybody ain't no straight up G where they just not gonna trick. At the end of the day, we're all human, stupid motherfucker. We all got needs, we all got wants, and we all hungry, and we all wanna eat. We animals. Don't y'all represent the savage life? What do savages do? They do whatever the fuck they can to get what they can. Kill, steal, and destroy. Savages ain't nothing but the fucking devil. Kill, steal, and destroy, right? That's what savages do by any means necessary, nigga. So a lot of these boys are getting it by any means necessary. Just like DC. Y'all get it by any means necessary out there. Y'all ain't no joke. Y'all weren't playing. And I'm just talking about the 80s and 90s. I'm not even talking about the 2000s. Half the shit that I didn't seen and heard about in the 2000s. I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about the forefathers, where it, where it stemmed from, where it came from. Everybody else behind these niggas is just trying to hold up a rep. That's it. That's all. Trying to make a name for themselves. Trying to fill them niggas' shoes. You cannot fill them niggas' shoes. There will never, there will never be another Alpo. There will never be another Wayne Perry. There will never be another Larry Hooper. There will never be another Jeff Ford, King Shorty. All these people, there will never be another one of them. Hell, there won't be another damn Bill Clinton. There will never be another Martin Luther King. There will never be another Malcolm X, another Tupac, another Joe Biden. There will never be another one of these type of niggas out here. Everybody is different. Everybody has their own agenda. So y'all miss me with the, the, the tough bullshit here. Ain't none of y'all tough. None of y'all, man. All y'all talk. They talk, you talk, they, everybody's talking. I'm fucking talking. I'm not finna run around here and get everybody and make people think I'm a killer. Oh, I did this and I did that. Nigga, you put a target on your back when you do that. Stupid motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck who you is. Big folks, little folks, tall folks, small folks. You put a target on your back when you sitting there glorifying this shit. Cause there's always somebody. Somebody want that stripe. And you that nigga, you that big fish in that pond that a motherfucker want and gon' get. These niggas don't care how much respect you got, who in the pit. It's always gonna be somebody. And it could be niggas your age too. All the GDs don't get along with each other. Mile, turn left on South they trying to now, but they still don't all get along with each other. They still stabbing each other in the back. This person want to lead this. That person don't want that person to lead. This person got a problem with this person. So they create these situations of war, murder, gang fights. They create, most of these situations are being created 
just like the government do with these foreign countries. A lot of this bullshit is being created by the people within the inside just to get what they want. They don't give a fuck about you. So miss me with the gang shit. It ain't got nothing to do with that, eh? Because you know that y'all ain't got gangs, but you see how many people from your city in your city done turned on each other. You didn't seen it. Think. I can't stand it when a nigga be sitting there telling some well, um, well, yeah, if it's guys are like this, then that, then everybody else must be like that. No, no. Well, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Maybe you said something else, and I'm jumping the gun. But I don't think so. I thought I heard clearly what you said. Everybody's like FYBJ, man. You know what we scared of? What you mean? Damn, I can see if you named everybody. If everybody was like Reese, FBG, Butter, uh, the rest of the FBG niggas, and everybody else, you know, what I'm saying? I can see if y'all or you said them, said everybody. Like, well, you know. On both sides, the BDs and the BDs say this, they ain't seem like that. And the GDs say this, but they don't seem like that either. If you said both sides, then I would understand. I'm saying, okay, well, you know. But you one-sided, nigga. You name one person and said, well, and Lil Reese them ain't nothing like that. I bet Buddy them ain't nothing like that. So you try to diss my man. You trying to say that nigga lame. FYBJ, man, you need to get on here. You got the following. You got the people's there, man. Get on here and defend your shit, nigga. Defend your shit. Half mile, keep left to stay on South John. Baptiste Point using the Lake Shore Drive using the right two lanes. Don't let no nigga ever come, come and say, like nigga's gonna say some shit about me, probably. I don't give a fuck. Say what you want to say about me, nigga. Matter of fact, I get on here and tell all my motherfucking business. Then what you gonna tell then? Y'all think I'm ashamed about what I did in my life? I can get on here and brag about that same shit that y'all niggas brag, brag about. Ain't no statute of limitations on shit I did. But I know I'm smart enough not to criminate myself. The fuck I look like? I got a family now. I'm trying to do and, and, and do what I need to do. Get the fuck out of here. what I'm trying to do. I am not trying to sit here and stay in this fucked up, stupid ass lifestyle. That's why a lot of us become dope fiends and shit. Stupid motherfuckers. Because y'all stay stuck. Nigga, the only reason why I dodged a few fucking bullets because See, I'm not even gonna go there with y'all. You know what? Let me keep doing what I'm doing. I'm not even gonna go there with y'all. I will tell y'all about some shit. But I will say this. The only reason why I, myself, didn't get fucking... What are you doing? I, myself, didn't get fucking caught up in half this shit. For one, the dope fans is watching my back. And I have police friends. I wasn't snitching. I never wore a wire for any motherfucking body. But I was smart. That's what you do. You stupid motherfuckers. You got a police officer that you live next door to or in your neighborhood, go cut his grass. Go take his fucking garbage out. Walk his fucking dog. Buy him a coffee every now and again, motherfucker. There's other ways you could do shit without paying the money, nigga. He might look out for your ass. And he know you do wrong. I ain't gonna say the officer's name, but he came and he said, man, we know what you're doing. We know you. We know. But look, I'm not concerned about that. Do me a favor, I do you a favor. You take care of this, I take care of that. And I did that shit. And he took care of me.
That's how the fuck it's supposed to be. You niggas don't know how to do shit. But kill, 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 murder, murder, murder. That's all you niggas know how to do. Go shoot by with the police, goofy. Get to know them and let them get to know you. There's other ways of doing things besides. But you guys are cowards. Because y'all listen to the wrong fucking people to tell y'all to do the wrong fucking stupid shit. You motherfuckers are just so scary. That's it, that's all. Then once they act like y'all don't know how to do a damn thing. Y'all get on my damn nerves sitting around here. That's how you get cool with the police. That's how you befriend these police. You ain't got no money to put them on the payroll. But hell, all you want niggas to have your back or let you know when some shit going down, right? That's what you want. So that's what I did. I didn't have no money. I couldn't pay them to turn the other cheek. I wasn't big time like that. But I was smart enough because they lived in my, in my block. They stayed in my area. A lot of my uncles and them grew up with. I was smart enough to befriend them. I was smart enough to go by, play with their nieces and nephews, take out the garbage, bring some kind of order. I was smart enough to do certain things. So when they like, oh man, that's the that's the such such such. Oh man. Can't take the gym, man. He's like, damn. Well, we know his situation. He fucked up. He can't do this. All he got to do. He ain't hurt nobody. He ain't killed nobody. He not wanted for any motherfucking thing. You know what? Fuck it. Pull up, man. Man, look. We about, to, we about to shut this, this corner down. So you better get up out of here. So yeah, hey look man, we ain't trying to, we know what you're doing, but hey man, just, we know you're not the problem, you you getting your money, you getting the fuck out of here, you're not creating no situation, so we just need you to fall back, alright, cool, sometimes I go elsewhere, where I'm, you know, where I know I'm cool at, when niggas, you know, I can go put that work in, because everybody ain't gonna let you come on their property and sell no dope. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna do that. So, when I, why I go where I know it's a drought at, where I know niggas ain't really doing shit, they slow, and it's kind of, you know, they ain't, they ain't got it popping like that, that's why I go. It's hot over here? Well, let me go over here, because such and them ain't got no work. Such and them, you know, it's respect thing, man. They wanna just go over here and take over and stand on somebody's shit. Man, what y'all doing over there? Oh, man, it's slow over here, man. We ain't doing nothing, man. I mean, y'all got, got work over there? Man, we got little, man. But well, look, I got X, Y, and Z, man. We can do, woo, woo. Oh, man, we'll come through. That's how I was when I was coming up. I didn't have the problem. That's why I was able to go places and go everywhere. I don't have the problem that the kids are having today because you know why? They listen to all the wrong people. So the wrong people told us some shit to create a situation for themselves and that they can't get out of. I don't have that problem. I'm going 79th, 63rd, 69th. I can go the hundreds. I can go anywhere I want to. And won't nobody have a problem with me because why? I never gave nobody a problem. It was the way I did shit. It was the way I did business. I didn't believe in stepping on no motherfuckers toes, but I always said, man, I don't want nobody stepping on mine. What are you doing? You gonna tell him to go, you got the right of way, fool. That's what I'm talking about, man. Some st stupid ass shit. You got the right of way, you tell him to come on. Cause you don't know who's supposed to go. So you tell them, come on. 
Yeah, but anyway, I ain't never had to. I ain't never had to go through some of the shit you niggas is going through. You niggas are telling. You niggas are doing all kind of stuff. And then the police that was on the force back then, a lot of them retired now. It ain't the same. You know, so I don't know if y'all could do the same shit. But I know a lot of. I know there are a lot of young police out there now. They listen to a lot of that rap music. A lot of them want to be hood. So y'all might can catch y'all a couple of them. A lot of y'all play basketball with them. A lot of y'all are cool with them. So if y'all out here, don't hesitate to say, hey, man, look, I ain't got no money, man. But, you know, you hear something, let me know. Don't hesitate, man. Do something for them, though. Like I said, cut the grass, nigga. Mount the floor and say, hey, man, can I wash your car? That's going to keep the nigga off you. Off. You know, that was Franklin's biggest mistake. If y'all noticed the officers in Snowfall season one, season two, once Franklin got to sign that shit, it was over. Oh shit. It was over. My niggas waiting for me. Just go here about your business. They gotta be here. What is this? 17. It's 12, 18, so it gotta be up here. Yeah. yeah, once that officer start getting nosy, oh, brother. Mm -hmm. Is that a Franklin? Washing the dishes, saying, hey, officer, sudden, sudden, let me wash your dishes. Let me do this. Let me do that. No. All right. What 
this thing. All right, FYBJ, man. I got to get up out of here. But I need you to clear this shit up. I do it. I need you to clear all this shit up. Stop letting these niggas get in on this internet talking tough about you, man. I'll let you know. Oh, and don't think everybody's like him. No disrespect, J Man. Not calling you a hoe or nothing. But I don't want Ant feeling like you is, so you need to straighten that out with him. You know what I'm saying? And y'all need to let everybody know, hey, Chicago ain't like that. You know, I don't know who y'all listen to, what y'all listen to, but everybody ain't like that. I damn sure ain't like these niggas. I'm my own man and I always gonna be my own man. But I'm out. Peace.